Have you ever wondered what the most ancient and distant galaxies in the universe look like? How did they form? How did they evolve? And most importantly, when did they stop making new stars? Well, astronomers are also very curious and eager to find out the answers to these questions. And thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, they have just made another breakthrough discovery that could shed some light on these mysteries. In this video, we will explore this amazing discovery and what it means for our knowledge of galaxy formation and evolution. We will also learn about quiescent galaxies in general and why they are so fascinating and important for astronomers. So, get ready for another amazing journey into the deep and dark secrets of the universe. Galaxies are the building blocks of the universe. They are huge collections of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter held together by gravity. They come in different shapes and sizes, from spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way to elliptical galaxies that look like giant balls of stars. They are also very dynamic and active. They constantly form new stars from the gas they contain and sometimes collide and merge with other galaxies, creating spectacular fireworks of star formation and destruction. But not all galaxies are like that. Some galaxies are quiescent, which means they have stopped forming stars. These kinds of galaxies are usually massive and old, having used up most of their gas in previous episodes of star formation. They are also physically compact, meaning they have a high density of stars in a small volume. They are commonly found in galaxies clusters, where they are influenced by their surroundings. For example, quiescent galaxies can lose their gas due to interactions with other galaxies or the hot gas that fills the space between them. This prevents them from forming new stars and makes them fade away over time. These types of galaxies are very interesting for astronomers because they tell us about the history and evolution of galaxies in the universe. By studying their properties, such as their mass, size, shape, color, age, and chemical composition, we can learn about how they formed, when they stopped forming stars, and what processes quenched their star formation. We can also compare them with star-forming galaxies at different redshifts, which means different distances and times in the universe, to see how galaxies change over cosmic time. Since the beginning of astronomy, quiescent galaxies have been observed, but with the development of modern telescopes and instruments, they have become much more common and easier to study. Especially in the last few decades, astronomers have discovered many quiescent galaxies at high redshifts, meaning they are very far away and seen as they were in the early universe. These newly discovered quiescent galaxies are very surprising and puzzling because they challenge our understanding of how galaxies form and evolve. How can such massive and compact galaxies exist so early in the history of the universe? How can they stop forming stars so quickly and efficiently? What mechanisms are responsible for quenching their star formation? These are some of the questions that astronomers are trying to answer by studying these remarkable objects. Using James Webb Space Telescope, an international team of astronomers has discovered a new quiescent galaxy at a redshift of 2.34, which means it is about 11 billion light years away from us and we see it as it was when the universe was only 3 billion years old. The galaxy is named Jade's GSZ501QU, after the survey that detected it. The James Webb Advanced Deep Extragalactic Survey, or JADES, which is one of the first surveys conducted by Webb, covering two fields in the sky with deep infrared observations. What makes this galaxy so special and surprising is that it is the least massive quiescent galaxy ever found at such a high redshift. The galaxy has a stellar mass of only about 10 billion times the mass of the Sun, which is much lower than the typical mass of quiescent galaxies at similar or lower redshifts, which is usually above 100 billion times the mass of the Sun. The galaxy also has a very low star formation rate, less than one solar mass per year, which means it is not producing new stars at a significant rate. It also shows a strong Balmer break and a weak Lyman alpha emission line in its spectrum, which are indicators of an old and quiescent stellar population. This galaxy is very important and exciting because it challenges our understanding of how quiescent galaxies form and evolve in the early universe. How can such a low-mass galaxy stop forming stars so early and rapidly? What processes are responsible for quenching its star formation? How does it compare with other quiescent galaxies at similar or lower redshifts? 
These are some of the questions that astronomers are trying to answer by studying this remarkable object. But one of the main questions that astronomers are trying to answer now is how this early massive galaxy got quenched and why it is different and mysterious compared to other quiescent galaxies. To do that, they need to look at the structure and environment of the galaxy and see if they can find any clues or hints about its history and evolution. One of the most striking features of this galaxy is that it has a very different structure than more massive quiescent galaxies at similar or lower redshifts. The galaxy has a very low surface brightness profile, meaning it is very faint and diffuse. It also has a very low Cersic index, which is a parameter that describes how concentrated the light distribution of a galaxy is. A low Cersic index means that the galaxy has a more uniform and flat light profile, while a high Cersic index means that the galaxy has a more peaked and steep light profile. Most quiescent galaxies have high Cersic indices, indicating that they have dense cores of stars in their centers. However, this galaxy has a Cersic index of only 0.6, which is much lower than the typical value of 4 or higher for quiescent galaxies. This suggests that this galaxy does not have a prominent bulge or nucleus, but instead has a more disk-like or irregular shape. This is very puzzling because it implies that this galaxy did not undergo any major mergers or interactions with other galaxies, which are usually the main drivers of bulge formation and star formation quenching in massive galaxies. How can such a low-mass and isolated galaxy stop forming stars so early and rapidly without any external triggers or influences? One possible explanation is that this galaxy experienced some internal feedback mechanisms, such as supernova explosions or active galactic nuclei AGN, which are powerful sources of energy and radiation that can heat up and expel the gas from the galaxy, preventing new stars from forming. However, there is no evidence of any AGN activity or strong outflows in it, which makes this scenario unlikely. Another possible explanation is that this galaxy was born quiescent, meaning it never formed many stars to begin with. This could happen if the galaxy formed in a region of low gas density or high metallicity, which are factors that can inhibit star formation. However, this scenario is also very rare and unlikely because it requires very special and fine-tuned initial conditions for the galaxy to form in such an environment. Therefore, this galaxy remains a mystery for astronomers, who are still trying to figure out how it got quenched and why it is so different from other quiescent galaxies, which opens up new possibilities and challenges for our understanding of galaxy formation and evolution in the early universe. It also shows us how diverse and complex the universe can be and how much we still have to learn about it. Thank you for watching this video about the discovery of Jade's GSZ 501QU, the least massive quiescent galaxy ever found at a high redshift. We hope you enjoyed learning about this amazing object and what it means for our knowledge of galaxy formation and evolution. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And don't forget to leave a comment below with your thoughts and questions about this topic. We would love to hear from you. Until next time, Stay curious and keep exploring the wonders of the universe.